as of late, I've been constantly saying that women are like children. And obviously, your favorite feminists get heavily upset and they attack me for such things. But if you look at this story, somebody, no, no black coffee. It's just a reminder of the pettiness of some females out there. So Angela's obviously looking for alimony, some type of maintenance from Black Coffee because his career has done so well and she feels she deserves a decent cut. We don't know what agreement they made uh, before they got married, during their marriage. Maybe whatever she's asking for is something that they both agreed on if things ever went left. That's fine. Similarly, I think we know that she, she's angry. You know, we've seen the interview, uh, I think with DJ Z and Claire, I think she made her own video, I think for Instagram, where she was explaining her pain and all those things. So we understand. But what's frustrating is listening to all the females on social media, defending what she's asking for, uh, talking about how he owes her, how he cheated, uh, how she was carrying his children and being a good wife. These same people that talk about women empowerment, equality, <laughs> who get upset when we talk about women should be in the kitchen bearing babies. It's very frustrating listening to women and as a normal guy or as a decent guy or as a, a realistic guy in the world we live in, listening to women on, on certain very, very important issues will leave your head spinning. Whether it comes to uh, access to your children, raising your children, maintenance, marriage, divorce, things like culture, which I've spoken about, where women will go and sleep with many guys and date many guys and will be vocal and will be quasi-feminists when, when they're in varsity and those things, then as soon as she falls pregnant, as soon as she, she wants to get married, all of a sudden we have to respect her culture. The same culture that says that you shouldn't have sex before marriage. The same culture that says that a woman must submit. The same culture that celebrates patriarchy. Those women now want to quote culture so that you can pay damages in Klaul, so that you can lobola her, so that she can look like this pure maiden in front of her parents getting married. So, Nje, the hypocrisy is very frustrating and I hope Upleak Coffee has some kind of decent uh, protection for himself and his wealth and his assets. I do believe that he's taking care of his children and I hope he'll carry on doing that. And if they'd made an agreement with Umbali during their marriage on what should happen if ever they split, I hope that he sticks to that agreement and offers her a fair pay of whatever he earns as long as he's earning more than her. Outside of that, fuck all this shit, man. And like I said... I think most women are just children. And if you keep listening to them and having conversations with them like they're adults, your head will spin. Pin you all the black pen.